assume you'll take uh, you'll take any win after three turnovers that you can get. I'll take a win no matter what. Uh, that's why we're here. You know, find a way to win. Obviously, have some things to clean up, but uh, we found a way to win, and that's why we're here. How nice is it to have a you know defense that's able to kind of pick you guys up even when you're not when you have some turnovers you, you can kind of depend on them in a game like this. They made some huge plays. You know, you look at some big stops they made. Um, really consistently throughout the game, putting pressure on the QB, being disruptive. I uh, thought they went out and, and played a really good game. Uh, obviously picked us up, and then you know, there at the end, uh, made, a, made a huge stop to, uh, to force an extremely long field goal. So I'm proud of those guys and the way they battled today. Yeah, to pull this one out without AJ and Julio you know, throughout the whole game. What do you say to some of the other guys like Westbrook and Kenny, Cam Batson, you know, when it's time to, to win with those guys out there for you? Yeah, play fast, play decisive, take advantage of the opportunity. You know, those guys are out there battling. I have a lot of experience throwing the ball, you know, throughout training camp. And, um, you know, they've been here for a few years. So I feel really good about those guys stepping in the huddle, have a lot of confidence in what they can do. Did you go into the game plan? Did you go into the game plan having that much uh, design rollouts and runs involved, or did it just kind of happen that way? Um, well, I'm trying to remember all my runs. Uh, I know at least a couple of them were, were rollout passes and uh, just felt covered, covered uh, receivers and some space. So um, really when you call those, you're thinking you're going to be able to, uh, to get an opportunity down the field to, uh, to stretch the defense. But you know, felt some space and, and tried to take advantage of it. You didn't slide on any of them. I mean, you, and you, I guess you got every yard you could get. Well, what's your mentality when you're kind of in the open field and do you ever get a, a word from Braver around the sideline But hey, protect yourself? Yeah, I got some words from Brable, and I'm sure I'll get more uh, tomorrow when we're watching the tape. But, uh, but yeah, I try not to take any big hits. Obviously, try to be smart with it. Um, you know, if I can get on an edge or on a shoulder and it's not going to be a big, big hit, then, um, you know, I'm all right with it. But definitely don't want to take, take one square. I think that second one, he caught me, caught me pretty square and uh, definitely should have slid that one time. That time. So, um, you know, you look at those, and then the, uh, the last one right on the sideline, you know, Trying to get the first down and stay in bounds there. So, you know, didn't really think a slide was a good op option there. Did you have an opportunity to lay a hit a little bit on the one in the middle of the field? It looked like you kind of took an opportunity to lay a hit on one of them there. Uh, I think I was just protecting myself. I don't know if I was trying to punish anybody. Uh, you know, if it's, you know, third and one and I'm running it's at the, at the line of scrimmage or down close to the goal line, you know, that's when I, I think about, you know, lowering a shoulder and, and trying to get that, that tough yardage. But uh, for the most part, you know, just trying to get on an edge and, and not take a big hit. The early turnover there, Ryan, is, is that one of those situations where you just try to erase that, say, you know, that happens and can't dwell on it kind of thing? Yeah, no doubt. Had a miscommunication there with uh, with our, our receivers. So, um, you know, like I say every week, you know, you, no matter good or bad, you have to be able to, to flush the play and, and move on to the next one. You know, we weren't on the same page there, and, and it hurt us. But um, can't dwell on it. It was early in the game. Defense, you know, played well, kept us in it, and um, a lot of football to play. So you can't dwell on any one bad play. What did you think was going to happen, or maybe what should have happened in that situation on that, on that play? Yeah, we had two guys right there in the middle, um, and just weren't on the same page. It seems like over the last couple of years, you know, under you and Brable, most of the time when the game's close and goes into the fourth quarter, you, you tend to win those games. What is it about this team that you seem to, in those tight situations, always seem to pull it out? Yeah, I mean, most games in the NFL come down to the fourth quarter. That's just uh, the reality is um, it's a very competitive league, and um, most games are going to come down to the fourth quarter. So we have to find a way and, and believe that we can find a way to, to win those, those tough games, whether we're behind trying to, trying to go get the go-ahead score or today where we're you know, ahead trying to tack on points and make it a, a two-score game again. So um, a lot of confidence in each other. We, we talk about it. We realize these games are going to be tough battles, and um, finishing is huge, right? Finishing every play, finishing the game. So it's something that's a pillar of our program, and uh, we believe in it. Was it offensive, did the offense enjoy that two-point conversion philosophy there where you try to put it as far out of reach as fast as you can? Yeah, no doubt. That was a huge play. You know, took it to a two-score game there. Um, that, I think that was early in the, uh, early in the fourth quarter uh, to put pressure on them. So uh, I like the call. You know, felt really good about about it, and uh, obviously uh, we were able to, to push the whole D-line pretty much in the end zone, and, and Derek got in. So huge play for us right there. Ryan, what's to say about a team? You kind of touched on, on maybe winning through some adversity. But what's to say about a team when you have injuries, when you, when you turn the ball over three times but still find a way to win at the end, and how much do you think is maybe serve as a springboard moving forward? Yeah, no doubt. We're going to face adversity 
every week. Hopefully, it's not turnovers, but you know, we're going to get stopped. We're going to have a three and out. Uh, you know, we're going to have a, a play that's not executed well, and you have to be, find a way to battle through that. To stick together, believe in each other, and, and go out and find a way to execute the next time we're on the field. So, I think that belief is is building. Uh, we have to continue to work at it, um, clean things up, but. Uh, if we can have that belief in each other and that confidence that we can fight through adversity, and the more times that we actually do it on Sundays, it builds that confidence. I mean, Nichols touchdown, Ryan. I mean, Nichols touchdown. Um, was he the was he the was the play for him? Was, it, was he the first read on that play? Um, well, that's that's kind of coverage dictated. Uh, didn't think when we called it that that it was going to end up going to him, um, but they sank out underneath and uh, was able to get him a, a shot there in the flat. Uh, we really called that try to get it to one of the receivers on the other side, but uh, tried to take what the defense got, gave me there. Uh, he was open, got it to him, and he showed his speed, catching it smoothly and getting upfield for the score. That was a huge play. Uh, they really busted the game open for us. How big a step was it to get this win and take control of the division, and how much of a point of emphasis was that during the week? Well, it's huge. You know, Coming back home after a, a tough loss last time we were here, um, obviously go out, get a win on the road last week, and need to start building that momentum, You know, stacking wins uh, and build that uh, confidence as we move forward throughout this season. So it was a big opportunity for us today and, and glad that we could come away with a win. Brian, we've got a little water across the way, too. And, uh, to, and how much of an advantage is it being able to move maybe in a game when the other guy is a little limited? Yeah, <laughs> sprained ankles suck. You know, I've had them before. Uh, they're no fun. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to battle through those things. How has Jerry Creek been really good Oh, it's been good. You know, it's. Well, see you later. Uh, um, yeah, the more reps we get, you know, the, the more it improves. I have a ton of confidence in, in what he's done so far. And, um, you know, we're making plays in practice together. And, and we've seen it, you know, last week in the game. Uh, and so, uh, you know, feel really confident throwing the ball.